In this segment, we're going to show you how to set up your platform. Uh, there are many ways to do it, but if once you know the basics, you can kind of customize it. That's one of the exciting parts. So first of all, we see these grid lines, and they get uh, kind of busy. Many people will use them, but for our il illustrations, uh, we'll take them off. So I'm going to right-click in the chart area and click on the grid. That takes the grid uh, away. Now we're going to, we can either hit the plus sign or the minus sign to zoom in or out, but I'm going to use the keyboard to do it because it's a little faster once you get used to it. So we want to hit the plus sign so we get the bars big enough that we can see them. Now we're going to change them from bars to candlesticks. Now this is a size you can uh, read more easily. Now this is the uh, chart shift. We're going to click on that and bring it back away from the edge. Uh, I like this so that I can kind of really see what's going on in this area. Now let's get into some colors. Uh, you can leave it this color if you'd like. Uh, I like a different color for everyday viewing. Sometimes I use the black background. But you right click, go to properties, or you can go to the F8 key. Click on that, the box pops up with the colors in it. So I'm just going to show you some of the, the colors, how I uh, change them. Change that background to a silver, and you notice off to the left, the little box changes as I click on colors. So I'm going to click on a few of these quickly. You can stop the recording and see them. But you can see how it's changing and starting to come up. So the uh, bar bull candle, we want to change that to a green and the bear candle we want to change that one to a red uh, the line graph we're going to change that to a magenta and I'll show you that in a minute the ask line I like that to be uh, a black as well so that's a basic setup as to how I might set up my uh, charts so now we're going to click OK and you'll see that the platform changed uh, to the way that we had to ask it to go so we're going to go back and you see these magenta those bars indicate that the price opened and closed at the same point so there wasn't a lot of movement in the market so I put those a different color so I can spot them uh, it come gives me momentum as to what's happening right at that point in time so here's some uh, a way to set up the colors you can use different colors if you like uh, but play around with it and get uh, something that uh, works for you and uh, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye.